HCTV Sports is supported by Balanced Wealth Management, Retirement, Planning, Expertise. Farmers Insurance, the Katie Lindbergh Agency. Katie Lindbergh, Hastings Downtown Farmers Insurance. If you don't know insurance, you need to know her. First goal of the year goes for the Raiders. Oh, beautiful shot there. Nicely done. Gets the pin. How oh, was that beautiful? Onside kick, and it's recovered by Hastings. And he's rung up for strike three. Double alley! Touchdown Raiders! Well, good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to the Hastings High School softball field. It is Raider Softball 2024 right here on KDWA Radio AM 1460 FM 97.7, KDWA.com, and also along for the ride on HCTV today. We'll have a couple of games with the guys from HCTV, and we thank them for also being here, and we will be with them here throughout this broadcast, and hopefully... It'll be a good one. Hastings at 0-1. They did lose to Tartan 8-7 late last week, but now you have Matamidi in here who coming, uh, they're coming off a 4-17 season one year ago, but like we said, it doesn't matter the record one year ago because every year is a new season, and now the Raiders are going to have a chance here to prove that on their home field with their left-handed ace out there in Haley Strain. Haley Strain, left-hander, has a good infield with her as well. They're going to come into the ring right now, meet up, and uh, get a little strategy session going here as Metcalf, Kerr, and Marks. One, two, and three. Set to bat here for the Zephyrs. There was some sprinkles before the game. And from what I took in on our National Weather Service forecast, there could be intermittent sprinkles from time to time. But right now, just absolutely perfect. Sun's out. First pitch. And that is going to be in there for a strike at the knees. Boy, long delay, drawn out call. We're going to have little delays from time to time, just waiting for the strike call. Here's a chopper to second. Dombrowski flips to first base, and Evans makes the grab and a quick 4 3 put out. One out here to start things on KDWA, also on HCTV. Nick Tuckner here for all of the fun this spring season for our Raiders. Exciting to be back in the perch. Here's the pitch from Strain, chop foul, way behind it. Haley Strain, Raider fans, many know, tall, long, long-limbed, lot of action coming at you right around, if not over six feet tall. That typical build you like to have in your pitchers. Here's a chopper back to the ring. Strain the lefty, fires to first for the out. And a 1-3 put out, two quick outs in the field for Hastings, and they're all black set up today. Maybe some of the sharpest unis we have. Really, for any program. I mean, I really dig this black, and if head coach Dana Strain of the Raider football team's listening, wouldn't a black third uni be kind of fun? Hmm. Here's the pitch, grounded foul. I've always thought that black would be really neat in the Raiders softball team showing that off here today. One strike, marks the batter, she's the shortstop. And the pitch fouled near the cage by the Matamidi dugout. It is sprinkling right now. As the sun is shining, I'm gonna look for the rainbow and see if the Lucky Charms Leprechaun's around here and I can put him in my pocket and hopefully bring us home a Raider win. Here's the wind by Strain, the pitch. Way behind it, but got a piece, foul ball. Two strikes. Tomorrow, Wednesday, on KDWA, we're gonna have baseball, Hastings at North. The pitch, two strike pitch, right back to Strain. Fields throws, got her, and that'll do it for the first. 
very quick first inning for Hastings. Couple of putouts by the pitcher strain. No runs, no hits, no errors, and nobody left on bases. We're through a half inning at the Hastings High School softball field. No score. Raiders coming to bat right after this. One, two, and three for the blue and gold as the right-handed hitting third baseman waits. Pitches at the belt for a strike. Lauren Jenkins, longtime Raider, longtime leader, even in her younger years. A leader of epic proportions for the grade she was in. And this one's sky high to right. That's going to fall in there for a base hit. Bulgren played it safe. Jenkins aboard. And we know that also means some speed at the top already aboard. So a runner on for Hastings. And that'll bring up Sean McCoy, right-handed hitter. My first time covering Sienna in a ball game. So this will be kind of fun. A couple of these gals I've never seen play. Here's a bun. Back towards the hill. Fielded cleanly. Throw. Did it pull her off? No. It'll be a sack bun. Jenkins to second. Good recovery on the throw. It'll end up being 1-3. Sacrifice, no charge. Time at bat for Sienna McCoy. A productive out. One away. Run at, a runner at second now for Haley Strain. Throws left, bats left, and she swings and misses. Big cut there from Haley Strain. Left-handed hitter, as we mentioned. Those lefties. Sometimes have that tendency to kind of slap the other way. Haley's got a little mix of everything. Swing and a miss, big cut there. No flag today, but we know the wind blowing. You can hear it in the background per usual here at the field. No matter how many wind screens I put on my mic, you're gonna hear it ripping up here as it pitches up and away. One ball, two strikes, one out. Here's the pitch from the righty Erickson called strike three. Okay, nice pitch, outer half. Two outs, runner at second. In scoring position for Kylie Evans. Another left-handed stick for the Raiders, the first baseman to the plate. The pitch, takes one outside, ball one. One ball, no strikes, two outs, bottom one, no score. We're here in Hastings, our first softball broadcast of the season. The pitch here on its way from Erickson Low. Manamidi actually putting their lineup, literally lineup together today to get it to us. So there's no grades as to who 
some of these players are. This one sliced foul. Look out, Denny Beck. My goodness. Denny, you're already a marked man. Goodness. <laughs> Team photographer Denny Beck almost needed a new lens, and that probably wouldn't be cheap. 2-0, the pitch. Actually, it should be 2-1. Highs fly ball towards short. Nice diving grab. Marks had to really move. The wind was kind of carrying it towards the line. It would have been a fair ball. You're going to call that F6 in the infield. Put an exclamation mark next to that 6 because that was one whale of a play. For the Raiders, no runs. There was one hit, one left in scoring position here in this first inning. And we're through one full here as a great play made there at short ends the inning. No score through one on KDWA AM 1460 FM 97.7. Can you hear Bubs? Great play at short. Just couldn't get her. Back with more. Quick leadoff single. It was a great play, though, by Hunt at shortstop to dive and keep it from going to the outfield, but still beating it out was Nelson. So, first hit of the game goes to Matamidai, who welcome you back. Each team with a hit. This is Riley Bogren, left-handed hitting, right fielder for Matamidai, lefty against lefty. That one just missed. Great pitch by Haley Strain. Runner at first. Nobody out of the pitch. Ground ball. Third base side. In to make the play. Jenkins throws. Got her. Move the runner to second base. That is a 5-3 put out. One away for Shepik. Ava Shepik, not a big kid at all. Right-handed hitter. Where's the number 10? Catching for... The Zephyrs of Mata Midai, the Raiders swept them twice last year. Ground ball foul. As a matter of fact, not trying to lay any insult to injury, the Raiders won both games by the 10 run rule. And they would love something like that here today. Runner at second, one out, one strike, pitch high. Ball and a strike. Right-handed hitter, Shepik back in. The 1-1, one, one. foul back, 1-2. and two. Strain getting ahead. Base open at first. Malia Erickson, the pitcher on deck for Matamidai. There's no score, top two from Hastings. The pitch, low and in. Even up 2-2. Two, two. Strain stepped back off the rubber, kind of pounded that ball into the glove. Ready to go into the wind. Swing and a miss. Got her on a high pitch. It might have been up and out of the strike zone. Two away for Haley Strain. Her first strike out of the game. Second out of the inning. And a big one here for Hastings. 
Let's keep that runner in scoring position. Stall it out between the bags. Pitch here is going to be right on the inside corner for a strike. 0-1 the count. Erickson, pitcher, first at bat, hitting in that seven slot for the Zephyrs. Here's the pitch. Way behind it, swing and a miss. Way ahead, Haley Strain, junior lefty. Corner in a touch at third, Jenkins. Infield back up the middle. Pitch squared, pulled back and chopped it foul. Thought about a two-strike bunt. That quick pullback still swung. Got enough to stay alive. Still 0-2 the count. Squaring, pulling back, pitch is high. Count is full. Sorry, one and two, one and two. Keep an eye on the scoreboard there too. Squaring to bunt in one, two. Pitch, swing and a miss, got her. Two strikeouts in a row. Stranding that runner, Nelson, at first base after, at second base after she singled to open up the inning. So two strikeouts in a row for Haley Strain, her first and second of the game here for Hastings. And a nice start here for the blue and gold in the field. They're gonna try to get the bats going right after this. Your Hastings Raiders and the Montemite Zephyrs are scoreless after one and a half. We're live on KDWA AM 1460 at FM 97.7. Thanks, buddy. Raider baseball game, especially ones that are at home. He's going to come take in with me up in the press box. I think we're going to have a bunch of fun as he gets older. He's almost 10, folks, believe it or not. He's grown up with all of you listening to me talk about him. You've heard him even jump on the air with me from time to time, but he's here with us today, and it's just awesome to be able to spend some time with him at some of these games and keeping all of you company and entertained. And he's got his headset on. He's ready to rock, and so are all of you watching and listening. Here's the pitch. Here's a swing and a fly ball. Right side, Coach Feikema. Glue hands. That flip back to the first base, but is much more to be desired. But we won't uh, we won't give him too much early season guff. Raiders at the plate. Swing and a miss. And a quick couple of strikes here on the board. As Kaylee Hunt, Lauren Meyer, Addie Seleski. We got a five, six, seven for the blue and gold kids. Here is a bat bottom two, no score. Here's a pitch. Ooh, kind of a weird hop off the rubber. I don't think that she got the release on that pitch. Came up, kind of low and in two, but the release looked a little bit unorthodox. And we'll see if she can shape that up here as Erickson toes the rubber back up. And here we go. That's called strike three. Good pitch. Hunt kind of standing there like, I don't know. But yeah, that was a really nice pitch. Inner half, not much you're going to be able to do when you get it that close. Like I've always been taught growing up playing baseball, you know, you just if it's if it's close, you got to swing. And that's something that the kids, you know, even at the varsity level, you kind of learn on the fly sometimes, and you learn the pitchers that you have to face as this one's up and away. Quickly, two and zero. Oh. Lauren Myers, the left fielder for the Raiders. Annie Seleski, the center fielder on deck. Then we got Dombrowski, Maul, and then back to the top. The pitch. Swing and a miss. Good cut. Erickson right around the zone here. She's had a couple that might have come out of her hand a little funny. But other than that, she really, through the first 
Inning and change is definitely looked apart. Pitch here, grounded back towards short. Nice fielding play, good throw. 6-3 put out, Meyer out. Marks, man, she's made a couple nifty plays. That one a well hit ball to short. Remember earlier to round out that bottom of the first, she made a diving grab right on the chalk line. Something that looked like it was gonna almost die as that wind was killing it. And it would have been a fair ball, but it was Marks who dove and made a great stop. This is a ground ball up the middle base hit, Addy Seleski. We know Addy has a bright hockey career ahead of her yet, but right here in softball, providing for the blue and gold at two away, and she'll rage for Emily Dombrowski. And Dombrowski is the Raider's second baseman. Again, one of those kids that's now been around a couple years. Leadership. See if we can get a big two out hit. The pitch is a crown ball left side. Knocked down at short. Mark's going to have to hurry. Great scoop back door. What a play. Oh my. Raiders snake bitten here in the second. Nifty play in the hole at short again. And Marks has stolen three hits from the Raiders here today. That time with her arm. We'll break and come back. We got a good game here, folks. Top of three next. We're through two. No score on KDWA. Woofda. Top of three, Martin, Redeem, Metcalf. That's 8-9-1 for the Zephyrs, who've been really flashing leather. Pitch a strike at the belt. Raiders here at home today. As we said, it really opens up the busy part of the schedule. Ground ball, right side, foul. And we know once the Raiders start playing two, three games a week, you get into that rhythm. And I don't want to say things get easier, but you know what I mean, folks. The, the, the different routines and things of that nature are just kind of ingrained in your brain by that time. And it just becomes going out there and playing softball. Early on in the year, same with the baseball team, track, lacrosse. You're thinking so much about, you know, making an early impact or, you know, winning. Just go out there and play. Here's a ground ball foul again. And for kids, it just takes a little time. Even us adults. I mean, it, you, you go and play even slow pitch softball. It, doesn't, it takes you a while to get your bearings under you and really feel comfortable. And the Raiders got that chance late last week against Tartan. Learned a lot about themselves, what they need to do to be successful, and what it takes to win games here in the conference. 2-2, two, two, strain deals. Ooh, check swing, did she go? They're gonna check the first base umpire, he says no. So we have a 3-2 count, full, nobody out, Martin. The left fielder, her first plate appearance today. Top three, no score, strain stares in, gets the sign from McCoy, and the pitch is a swing and a miss. Nice shot, low and in. And again, that was one that Martin probably said, hey, it's too close not to swing. Waves through it. Three strikeouts in a row for Haley Strain, dating back to the end of the second inning when she got two in a row. And I know that in this ball game, too, 
the deeper it goes without runs, kind of the scarier, scarier it gets as a fan. You know, you, when you get a couple quick innings and you know that they're easing by, that might play into Matamidai's hand on the road. If you can keep it 0 0 or 1 1 or just low scoring heading into that seventh, you and I, listeners, both know anything can happen, and it has. Still 0 2. Radine fighting, one out, nobody on. No score, top three, Matamidai bats here in Hastings. In softball, fouled away. Evans will fire it back in. Way up in the count, Haley Strain at 0-2. Radine staying alive for the most part. Here, this one just missed high. Not by much. And again, Radine, not a big kid. Strain will go off to the back of the ring and kind of think about it there. But it was close. But again, Radine, not big at all. The pitch. That one fouled back. Just got a little slice of that one. One ball, two strikes, one out. Radine seeing pitches here from Strain and staying alive. The lefty deals again. Change up high in the air to left, but hanging up. And an easy play there for Meyer, and there's two away. Lauren Meyer didn't have to move much, if at all. Two outs. That'll bring the top of the order back to the plate. Sophia Metcalf will get her second look at Haley Strain. The first time, a little tap out to Dombrowski at second. The pitch here is look out. My goodness, right into the Matamidi bench. It went off the access door that goes into the little storage area there, but my goodness. <laughs> Some of the Zephyrs smiling and saying, well, I might want to stay behind this thing. Here's a foul ball. Way ahead, Haley Strain. Haley is retired five in a row. Would love to make it six and get a one, two, three inning, which would be her second if she can close the deal here. The 0 2. Popped up. There's Haley. Her ball. And that is your 1 2 3 inning. F1 on a pop out to the pitcher. Easy play for pitcher strain. No runs, no hits. No errors, and nobody left on base. The Raiders will bat in their half of the third as we're breezing through this one at the Hastings High School softball fields. But it's still scoreless on KDWA. some odd years. I've been rained on more than once, haven't I? Here's the pitch slowing in. Sometimes more than many. I remember, and if Dean Robinson's listening to this right now, or Mike Book even, when we went to Austin in Section 1 play a few years back, I would say 10, 12 years ago, we had a thunderstorm that literally almost blew the, the team off the field. I mean, it was nuts. This one bunted foul. Yeah, we had a couple of storms, especially down in Austin. That were, I mean, I mean, you think there would be big storms, you know, just sitting at home and listening to the, the, the thunder and all that stuff. No, I mean, we were like right in the midst of all that stuff. Fun years, though. Pitch is high. 
Lauren Mull, Lauren Jenkins, Sienna McCoy. 9-1-2 for Hastings. The right or right fielder takes up and away. I believe it to be three and one. Yeah, now it's three and one. Two outs. Or sorry, nobody. <laughs> Gotta fix the scoreboard here. It says two outs up there still. Here's the pitch, swing and a miss. Now it's three and two. I'm gonna have to keep track up here to make sure. Might be having some chads and goofiness in the dugout where they're scoring. Here's the pitch. Popped up. Tough play. Long run. Nice grab. Coming towards home from first was Carr in the out recorded. F3 on the line. I'm not going to say in foul territory. Could have been close. No assumptions. F3 in your book. Top of the order. Here's Jenkins. Lauren has one of the two Raider hits. Addie Selesky, the other a strong knock up the middle. First time through. Pitch here well inside. One ball, no strikes. Good crowd here for a Tuesday afternoon. No score. Pitch is low and in. Raiders and Zephyrs. In softball here this afternoon, like we mentioned, the baseball team had Monday off, Tuesday as well, to get ready for North St. Paul. Popped up. Erickson in the ring makes the catch herself. F1, two quiet outs for Hastings. And that'll bring up McCoy. Sienna McCoy. Bunt, sacrifice. Zero for zero in the book. Pitch taken for a strike at the belt. One strike, two outs. The pitch up and away. One ball, one strike. McCoy, Strain, Evans. If the Raiders can get a little two out rally going, no score here. The pitch lined up the middle base head. Raiders will have a base runner with McCoy. Solid swing. Found the barrel on a pitch on the inner half. Sent it the other way. And a two out single for the Raiders. And like I said, let's get something going. Yeah, two outs, fine. Some of the best parties start after two. And I'm not talking about me speaking from experience or anything in the pitch. Up and away. One ball, no strikes. Two outs here in the bottom of the third. Intermittent clouds, definitely windy. Cool without the sun. The pitch. Up, missed. 2-0. Two, oh. Two outs. Runner at first, McCoy. One for one today with a single and a sacrifice bunt. Strain. Swings and fouls. Power cut from Haley Strain. Struck out looking on a close pitch in the first. She's 0 for 1. But also pitching well in the ring on the other side for Hastings. The 2-1. Ooh, look out. Kind of an excuse me push the other way. 2-2. Two and two. Is that one foul? Even that check swing. And a little base behind it. I mean, that was not even a full swing and hit it the other way with some authority. Corners in, pitch, chopped towards the pitcher. It's played by Erickson. Her throw just got strained. One three put out, one left on, no runs, one hit, no errors, and that one McCoy after her single left at first base. So we're through three full, still scoreless on KDWA AM 1460, FM 97.7 and KDWA.com. The St. Paul Saints are back. Second for one on the first double play. Oh, no. In the air, right field, well hit, way back. It is gone.
catch live coverage of tomorrow's big league stars right here on this community station. He gets the pin. What a move, what a goal! Oh, what a shot scores! The Raiders, can they get the lift? Yes, they do. Just snipes one. Oh my god! And reaching up and making the play. It's over! It is over! Looking to throw. And she's gonna get the first down. One! Touchdown Raiders! Back on KDWA, also along for the ride on HCTV. Here's a chopper to first. Oh, kind of kicked around, touching the bag. She did get there. Looked like a harmless play nonetheless. That's going to have to go down, unfortunately, as an error. Kerr will reach. And that was a little wacky today. I didn't expect any of those shenanigans in that particular instance, but that softball and that puts a runner at first. Wind kicking up as we send. Pitch is bunted. Played at first, thrown to the second baseman, covering Dabrowski, throw back to first, not in time. So this is gonna be a three, four sack bunt. No charge, time at bat for the sacrifice. Kerr will go to second base after the error put her on. So Kerr at second. One out. The batter Nelson in the pitch. Ooh, big swing, fouled it away, but that was a decent cut. Top four, we're still scoreless. Some good leather played for a majority of this one. The pitch, change up in a beauty. Good pitch, way out in front of it, 0-2. Haven't seen too many of those, but that was filthy in the best way possible. Here's the pitch. Ground ball, third base side, Jenkins hurries, got her! Good throw by Lauren Jenkins across the diamond. Kerr will go to third. She's 60 feet away. But a 5-3 on a, star, a strong arm throw. And that is exactly what they wanted in that particular instance because now it's two outs and the pitch here is up and away. Kerr now at third, but two outs for Bogren. Grounded out to third in her only plate appearance, and I know that was really close. Outside, two outs, runner at third, first runner that far in this game for either team. The pitch, swing and a miss, big cut there. Haley getting right back into the zone. Two and one. Found her spot. Two outs, two one pitch. Here it is. Outside corner called strike two. Back to even up starting out 2-0. Two, -oh. two two count, two outs, runner at third. Let's keep her 60 feet away. The two two. Chopped foul off the end of the bat. Pool cue style, staying alive. Bogren will wait another 2-2 from Haley Strain. Runner at third, corners in a touch. The pitch from Strain 2-2, a changeup foul back again. 
Good bat control by Bolgren, just getting a piece of what would have been strike three. Was initially fooled. Waited just long enough for that swing to get a piece. 2-2 two -two again. Up high. Counts full. 3-2 pitch coming up. Top four, no score. But the first run of the game, 60 feet away from Matamidi. But two outs and a 3-2 count. The payoff. Chopper to third. Fielded by Jenkins. The th oh, got her. 5-3. Huge to stall that runner at third base. Raiders get out of the fourth unscathed after the early error. No runs, no hits, one error, one left 60 feet away. We go to the bottom of the fourth right around the halfway point of regulation, and we're still scoreless here on KDWA. Of our radio broadcast joined in just a second. Uh oh. It's us. Nope. Nice catch. I thought I would have had that one. Now it's going to be a out in foul territory. Welcome back on KDWA. Quick pop out. Evans hit one that I thought Bubs was going to have a hand on, but that thing. Blown back into play, caught right in front of the fence by Nelson. And I'm going to tell you what, fans, this Matamidi team in the field today has been nothing short of sensational. I mean, you got to give credit where credit is due today. And that catch, as we brought you back, just one sample of, of what we have heard and seen today from the Zephyr team that has just snake bit the Raiders. The pitch in her half. Boy, she, she doesn't throw it hard, but she's right around the plate all game long. Hunt takes that strike. One and one. One out. We're in the bottom of the fourth. And like I said, the longer this stays 0-0, the more this might favor a road team coming in in their first game just to scratch even one across? It's starting to feel like one of those games, folks. Raiders need a big inning. The pitch. There we go. Fly ball, but that wind's going to take it out of play. Yep. Right side. Goes into the batting cages that probably be going up, I would think, pretty soon. I know that, I think the boys, they're all set over there across campus. This is a fly ball in play, long run, but in to make the catch is Metcalf. So two quick outs again for Hastings. And Lauren Meyer will get her second crack today. Earlier on, hit one near the shortstop gap between short and third. Then it was Marks who made one of her three or four fantastic plays that she's made today taking a hit away from Meyer who was speeding down the line and thought she had a chance and at least a base hit if not more. We've seen some great defense here today just after five KDWA Hastings. 
Glad you are with us. This pitch is called a strike. No score. Bottom four. The pitch up and in. Two outs, a 3-0 count. We'll take a base runner anyway here, even with two outs. Seleski on deck. The pitch and a ground ball. Towards short, she's going to steal another one. Marks throws across and another great play. 6-3 and a 1-2-3 inning. And I sound like a broken record, I know, but it's been a well-played game in the field for both teams as the leather has been shown off in grand fashion. We're still scoreless through four full on KDWA, AM 1460 FM 97.7, and translator, W249DK. Here on Kitty WA, also simulcast on HCTV. Nick Tucker here in Sheppick. A quick out. Bounce out. Nice play thrown across by Jenkins. Top five, still scoreless. Need to play gloves again. Way behind that heat. One strike. Wind is picking up. You guys can hear it in the background. I'm trying to do all I can to shield my microphone, but sometimes here on the hill, that's impossible. And that's what we're getting now. Pitch is low. We're scoreless. Top five. Matamidi has been aided by numerous glove work thefts. The pitch outside. Boy, that didn't miss by very much either. A ball and two strikes. Strain peeks in. The pitch. Change up and a good one, but fouled. Good mix. Nobody aboard. One and two, one out. The pitch from Strain, Chopper, right side jammed her. Dombrowski flips underhand to Evans for the out. 4-3. Two quick outs for Mata Midai here in the fifth. Raiders set up the infield. The pitch. Good shot at the knees. Called strike one. That one had some gusto, too, by the way. Strain looks in. Fires again. That's a little low. Good spot, though. One and one. Two outs. Raiders in the field here. Top five with the Zephyrs batting. No score. Strain's pitch, chopped foul again. How many times have we said that those Zephyrs over there, thank goodness they're behind that cage. Way behind Haley. A lot of the batters have been. The pitch, change up, hit to left, base hit down the line. This could be extra bases. They're gonna try to test the arm. The throw's in time and the tag's there! They got her! 
What a play in the outfield. The throw from Meyer right on the screws to Dombrowski lays the tag down. Give her a single, but the Rainer defense shines, and you call that seven. Four on the putout, only three come to the plate. No runs, one hit, no errors, and nobody left on as the gloves flashing brightly here in Hastings. Still scoreless, Raiders to bat in the bottom of the fifth next on KDWA. And HCTV. Spring and summer. Going to get things going here pretty soon for the old guys. Here's the pitch up high. We'll have more on all that fun. As time nears, of course, the Hens pretty well done and scheduled. I think they have put the finishing touches on that schedule. Pitch here high. As soon as we get the green light from Henland, we will have that schedule posted. We want to make sure we have them all. We'll have them all here on Kitty WA this summer. Trey, Adam, and Maddie will have all of your fun throughout the summer as this one's in for a strike. Addie Seleski for Hastings. Then Dombrowski and Ball were at 7, 8, and 9. 2 and 0 to Addie Seleski. She's one for one. Fly ball foul. That's on a play. Hens, Hawks, Pirates across the river and Prescott. They should again be uber talented. Still really living on the laurels of that 2012 state tournament team. Here's a fly ball hit in the center base hit. And he's two for two today. And that's exactly what the Hastings Raiders needed was a leadoff base runner. Now they had one in the first. Sacrificed the runner, did everything right. Just couldn't get that run across. Now here's an opportunity because you get the bottom of your order and you turn it over to the top pretty quick here. If you can mount up some runners, it could be on a run here. Pitch, swing and a line drive, left field, base hit. That's in there too. Two in a row for the Raiders, both struck well. Dombrowski, leadership, we talked about that earlier. She features some right there, one for two. As the Raiders second baseman pulls into first with Seleski now in scoring position, she is at second. Huge opportunity for Lauren Mall. What do the Raiders do here? Do you move the runner with a bunt? They'll square, Lauren does. Puts it down and it's a beauty. That'll work. Throw to first in time. Great sack bunt. That's just how you draw it up in practice. Lauren Mull had to do a job and she did it. If the Raiders score here now, second and third, one out. That's why. And I hope Lauren understands that here. If the Raiders get a couple or even one, that bunt got us into position. The one out pitch. And that's going to be inside to Jenkins. One of the most dangerous, if not most dangerous, hitter in the Raider order at the plate with two in scoring position in a 0-0 game. Bottom five. The pitch to Jenkins. Ooh, that's right there. Juicy. To strike. One and one. Back-to-back -back singles from Seleski and Dombrowski and a beautiful bunt from Mull moved him over. Ground ball! 
Left side, this will bring a run home no matter what. Pulled her off the bag, throw to third down in time. It gets away, stay there. No, they're gonna go. Try to send the runner to Brusky. She'll be in and score. There we go, Raiders. Seleski and Dombrowski both in. That would have been an RBI no matter what for Jenkins. You're going to give her a single, an RBI for sure, one. The second one's going to come home on an E3 on the throw across the diamond that got away. So Seleski's counts as an RBI for Jenkins. And now Lauren to second on the bad throw. So she also in scoring position, 2 nothing. Hastings pitches inside to McCoy, and she's looking to do some more damage with the Raiders now up 2 to nothing. Strain on deck, Raiders lead 2-zip here, bottom of five, the pitch up and away. Good tank, Sienna McCoy. Now, you know, you get a couple of big hits. You score a couple runs. You don't want to lunge at every pitch. You're excited, everybody. Sienna, a great take right there. Good control. The pitch, yep, leave that one there too. Good take. Again, close, but just a great eye. Three balls, no strikes, and why even pitch to her here? She's already hit, hurt you once. Base is open at first. She probably ain't gonna see much here, and she doesn't. Bam, ball four. Four pitch walk, almost an unintentional intentional walk, if you will. They were not going to let McCoy hurt them again. And now we're going to have our first mound visit here today for the Matamidi Zephyrs. And they didn't really have anybody throwing now or earlier. Some of the Rainer baseball guys making their venture from practice into the high school to go home and have some dinner and get their homework done, but they have a big one on Wednesday tomorrow if you're listening or watching live. Huge bounce back chance as they take on North St. Paul. Wind still just picking up and howling. The pitch. No, low and away. And you know what? That was a nice stop by the catcher, Shepik, because if that thing gets away, you're looking at second and third, and still only one out. For now, first and second, here's the pitch. High. Yeah, they're not they're not really too interested here in, in pitching to Haley either. Here's the pitch. Ooh, that just outside, wow. Three balls, no strikes. What an eye by strain. A 3-0 coming up. Evans on deck. Hunt to follow. Nowhere to run. That's a strike. Good take, though. That's what you do here. Just make her help herself, right? You just got to make her get in the zone. And strain being a pitcher, she's smart enough to know how that works. That's high. Yep, ball four. I was waiting for the call. And what are we going to do here? Looks like we're going to maybe get a courtesy runner for the pitcher strain. Bases are now loaded. I'm not sure what Jen's doing, to be honest. I don't think she's subbing. Oh, we're going to have a pitching change anyway. All right. We're going to have a pitching change here, so we will take a break, and we will come back with more in just a moment. Raiders lead it by a score of 2-0. Maybe more coming after this on KDWA. NHC TV.
Those guys are so fun, the Garcias, the owners up at UPS store. They can help you with so much stuff. It's more than just the big brown spot. Now as a pitch here is going to be in for a strike. New pitcher, Abigail Wright. Malia Erickson goes four and a third, six hits. Two runs so far, responsible for all three on board. Ground ball, going to be a tough play on short throws. Blabber off the base. Off the base, and I don't know if they would have had her anyway that was hitting a tough spot. That's an RBI single for Hunt. Sorry, for Evans. Now that'll bring Hunt up to the plate. So we'll give Evans an infield single. You give her an RBI. The bases are still loaded, and now we're going to get a discussion with the umpire who's going to say, uh, well, first, the coaching staff wants to know if there's interference because the runner was trying to get through there. Now, if, if they would have made contact, she would have likely been out. But they did not make contact. McCoy did a terrific job of avoiding any bit of contact with the oncoming fielder mark, so that will make sure that there is no interference called and we stay with one out or run in. Three nothing Raiders. And the bases are still loaded for Kaylee Hunt and a chance to really blow this thing open. Here's a fly ball. Right field, long run, long run. It's gonna be just foul. I, I would say probably about five, six, seven feet from where I can see anyway. Bases full of Raiders. Three runs are in here in the bottom of the fifth. Hastings up three nothing. Not done. Hunt, waits, pitch, up. That missed. One ball, one strike, one out. Bases full of blue and gold. The pitch from right. Fly ball, foul. What a big swing, too. Had that found the barrel. Not sure if it's going to go over the fence today at the way the wind's going, but that's finding somewhere in a happy landing. The pitch. Outside, good take by Hunt again. What a good at bat here. Picking her pitches, two and two. Even up, bases full, three in. Raiders up three, nothing, bottom five of the pitch. Change up, got her. Swing and a miss. Wright's first strikeout is a clutch one at that. Two outs for Meyer, who's been robbed twice at short by Marks. The pitch, up and in. Already down in the count here. One ball, no strikes. If Meyer reaches, Celestia will get a second crack here in the inning. She started this craziness with a single in the fifth, top half, leadoff batter, or bottom half, I should say. Base is loaded. The pitch, here it is. Outside. High, maybe, the official said. Three balls, no strikes. Nowhere to put her. This is red light territory for Meyer. The pitch. Takes. Ball four. Run in. That's an RBI. Sienna McCoy will score to make it 4 nothing. Hastings here. What a fifth. So Addie Seleski will bat after the RBI walk from Meyer on four pitches. Addie takes ball one, one ball, no strikes. Hastings with a four nothing lead. They bat here with two outs and bat around. That's hit high in the air to center. It'll hang up and the catch made by Radine, well struck ball. And the Raiders end the inning, batting 10. F8 is the final put out. But Hastings, they score four runs in the inning on four hits. There was two er uh, sorry, one error, and the bases were left loaded. But that's okay, because the Raiders get four 
and we go on to the sixth inning with a score four nothing Hastings on KDWA AM 1460 FM 97.7 and KDWA.com. How can I help you today? I, I don't think I'm in the right place. I have big dreams, like crab brewery size dreams. I like it. Uh, your bank is very, um... Cozy? Yes. Yeah, I know what you mean. We prefer more personal interactions. We dedicate the majority of our space to our customers' dreams. Wow. Look at that. I know, it never gets old. Wow, this is way bigger than your office. Who are we? We are artists. We are entertainers. We are storytellers. We are teachers. Back on Kenny WA, also simulcast on HCTV, Nick Tuckner here. Dallas the young man with me as well. 4-0 Hastings as we go to the top of the sixth. Square a bunt. Took it. I don't think she's squared though. They haven't thrown it on the board yet, but I think that's ball one. Nine, one, and two for Matamidi. Pitch at the knees. Wow, good shot there from Strain. One ball, one strike. There's nobody out here in the sixth. Raiders with four in the bottom of the fifth to take the lead. And the first lead of the game for either team is that pitch that missed. Two and one. Might have been a little bit inside. Radine, Metcalf, and Kerr, the scheduled batters. Good shot at the knees again. Heat. Knees, never easy. And if she swung it, that one probably just would have grounded it into the dirt in front of Strain, and she would have had an easy put out. 2-2. Two, two. No, look out. Go-Go Gadget Arms. McCoy pulls it back down to ground level. 3-2. and two. Nobody out. The pitch, up and in, that's ball four. Radine draws a leadoff walk here and a quick response from Matamidi after the Rainers scored four in the bottom of the fifth. And a little bit of maybe excitement here now for Matamidi. Swing and a miss. <laughs> Not when she throws one of those. Boy, nice change up there from Haley Strain, and she fooled the batter Metcalf as well as the broadcaster because I was thinking heat the whole way. One strike pitch, outside corner. Another good shot, Haley really hitting her spots as she goes along throughout this game. Almost getting hotter as the game moves along and finding those hot zones, we call them, in baseball and softball. Line shot, second base through. Dabrowski had a, a good beat on it, but there's no way she was going to make a play on that. So, here comes the rally. A walk. A base hit. Zephyrs. Kind of squeaking a little bit here now. Thinking, hey, maybe something good's about to happen here. Here's the pitch, way high, it's gonna get back to the cage and both runners move up. Oh no. I'm starting to have deja vu from Friday's baseball game after we scored two in the top of the fourth and then all of a sudden Park scored, what was it, 11 in that bottom of the inning? I hope that don't happen here. I don't think Haley's gonna let that happen, although the pitch there is a ball. Second and third, there's nobody out. It's 4-0 Hastings, but 
Matamidai has something on the grill cooking. Strain, long pause, fires, fly ball, right side, near the line, it's foul. But boy, that was a much closer opportunity for Mull than I thought it was going to be. They had her played absolutely perfectly. So now they'll bring the ball back in at 2-1. and one. Really could use a strikeout here. Yeah, really shading to the right side. The pitch. There it is again. Same spot. They had it scouted perfectly. Catch made, out recorded, thrown home, sack fly. Runner to third, it's four to one. Kerr, F9, RBI. That's a sacrifice, no charge time at bat. Radin scores to make it four to one. Metcalf with wheels from second to third. That's where she camps out with one away, and a run is in. Four to one, the pitch, ground ball. Looking towards short. Throw to first for the out, and they look the runner back to third. Nice play there by Hunt at short for Hastings, 6-3. That was just good fundamental fielding. Look the runner back, strong throw to first. To make sure if she takes off, Evans would have a chance to throw home and end the half inning. The pitch, that's hit hard. To center, long run, Seleski dives and makes the catch. Oh, that saves a run. And the Raiders do give one up, but stop the bleeding early. One run does come in for the Zephyrs, but okay, that could have been much worse. Strain in the Raiders, Seleski's glove, stops said bleeding. The tourniquet applied the Raiders lead. Four to one, we'll be back at, with just a moment. Uh, we'll be back in just a moment if the radio guy can Huh, calm down. I'll be right back with more here on KDWA and also on HCTV. Kind of sounds familiar because that's right around where the Raiders started in the fifth and they scored four. That one's bowled in. One ball. Raiders scored four in the fifth, gave one up in the top of the sixth, but that was as good a damage control as the Raiders could have expected or wanted. And Addie Seleski just shows her athleticism. I know how athletic she is, and nobody has to explain that to me, but anytime I get a chance to see it in person, whether it be on the ice or on the field, my goodness. Pop up, deep second. Oh, it's gonna fall in there! In front of everybody, center, right, second, everybody came in, and that is a Texas leaguer, if I've ever seen one before. We will take it. If you are a Rainer fan, you are smiling and happy. And I know Dombrowski, I can see her teeth smiling from over there as she's getting the sign from Coach Jen. Flank's over there too with his wristband on. Checking the opportunity out that Coach Thiesing is putting out there for the kids. I just love the signs. They, they got a pretty cool little system with the wristbands, almost like football. Pitch here, foul back. Lauren Mull with really the setup in the fifth. 
Rainer's got two straight singles, but the sack bunt moved two into scoring position. Those came around to score, and Maul had a giant part in that fifth inning explosion. Pitch is out of the way of the catcher. No way she's going to get her hand on it. And Dombrowski, wild pitch, will move over to second base. We'll try to get that run back here that we gave up in the top of the sixth. The pitch on its way, that's in the dirt too. Wright's been missing down in the zone, kind of does a little mimic of a windmill, you know, trying to figure out where that release is coming. 3-1, uh, that's just too high. Ball four and Maul is on, productive at the bottom of the order today. Walk, sacrifice. And now this kid, <laughs> she's been special for more than a few years. Two for three today, Lauren Jenkins. Pitch on the outside corner for a strike. Her papa, Chris, you'll hear me talk to him and his compadre, Phil Kim, or Phil, uh, Phil Vargas, Phil Kimmel, that's up at park. Here's a fly ball, ground ball, takes a little hop. Kind of muffed there at short. Turned to second. They got one. So first and third. So Dombrowski safe at third base. Maul forced out, 6-4. Jenkins will reach on a fielder's choice. So she goes to two for four today with... Two singles and an RBI with a run scored. Not a bad day at the top either for Jenkins as McCoy bats. One for two. Actually, one for one. A single, a walk, a sacrifice, and a run scored from the catcher. Raiders are going to get a free base on a defensive indifference. Jenkins will go to second. Actually, that's not because it's four to one. She gets a stolen base. Here's the pitch. Up and away. Two balls, no strikes. Raiders have two on and one out. The pitch. Ooh. <laughs> Call the strike. That one right about halfway up the sock. McCoy steps right back in on Phased by the call and a ground ball knocked down at short. Marks recovers but can't make the throw. E6 run scores. McCoy will reach on an error, but she will get an RBI as that run would have came home anyway. 5-1 Raiders got that run back for Strain who comes to the plate here as well and she'll line one right side base hit. We'll send the runner home. Here comes Jenkins. The throw was in time, but off the glove. And everybody also moves up a base. Jenkins scores on the RBI single by Haley Strain through the right side. Haley's first hit today. And on the throw, which goes off the glove of the catcher, that will be an E2 to move the runners up a bag. And Lila Gessner's in a run at second. Now batting for 27, number six, Allie LaFlay. Allie LaFlay will come off the bench. She will hit here in the sixth for Hastings and take one low one in. She's got the lineage. We've had the brothers all come through, the youngest of the four alley at the plate here, and the pitch. Low, 2-0. and oh. Allie's got some pop in that bat. Like I said, if she's got that mentality the brothers all had, we know she's ready for this moment as it swung on and hit pretty hard, but to the right side foul. Kaylee Hunt due up next. She's got a bat, so it looks like she will hit. Two and one, the pitch to Allie LaFlay is hammered foul. LaFlay, the first pinch hitter today for Hastings. The pitch here, 
No, Bolden almost hit her in the feet. Got out of the way. I might have almost used a skate save there and trotted down to first base. Second and third, the pitch. Nope, that's low. Ball four. Allie takes the walk. Comes off the bench. Gets on base. That'll bring up Kaylee Hunt. 0 for 3 today. Struck out twice. Lined out hard to second. The pitch. Hit it hard this time right side. Almost took Fike's head off. Foul. That's the way you, Coach T's say, that's the swing. Yeah, let's take Fike out. That sounds, yeah. <laughs> we love Coach Fike, but too much for that to ever happen. The pitch. All one misses up and away, one and one. Hunt and Meyer. Rainers have two to lead six to one. The pitch. There's a jam shot. Throw home for one. Throw to first for the double play. One, two, three, double play. That's nice. The Rainers can win this thing in the field with their gloves, and why not? They've been doing it all game anyway. Rainers add two here in the half inning. Two runs on two hits. Got to tally up the errors, which there were also two of. And the Rainers left two on base. But with the two here in the sixth, the Rainers will go to the top of the seventh, leading six to one here on KDWA and also on HCTV. We'll be right back. Gotta get three outs and we win. Yep. Wow. Wow. What? Are we gonna have to get? I don't know. Eggs? What? Maybe we'll get Jimmy's after something. I don't know. I don't know. I Be right back here with our call. Top seven. Raiders looking to shut this thing down in the top half of the inning to go home winners. They lead it six to one. Big swing and a miss. Strain way up 0-2. Raiders added two in the bottom of the sixth after Matamidi scored their first in the top of the inning. Strain just misses outside. Fellas in blue and gold with white pants. Those Raider baseball players continuing to stop once in a while near the right field foul pole to take a peek. Here's a ground ball to third. LaFlay in the game. Oh boy, she's got a cannon. Fires it across. And Bogren retired quickly to start the seventh. One away, need two to go home. Good play by Allie LaFlay playing at third base for Hastings now. Who's over at first? Let's see who's over there. We'll get that in just a moment. The pitch. Line shot. Center field base hit. Shapik. She will reach in the single with one away. See, the one thing of the black jerseys from here, it's really hard to see the numbers. I still can't tell. Here's the pitch. Ooh, kind of a little spinner off the end of the bat. Okay, there we go. That will help me. That is number three. So Jenkins moves over to first with LaFlay at third. Pitch is low. 
One ball, one strike, one out. Rainers lead six to one here in the home opener. Strain fires. Change up back to the hill. She'll go to first for the out. Two down, and the Raiders have bought a meat eye to their last out. Shepik to second. Not even worried about the runner is Hastings. Don't have to be. Martin waits. Pitch bowled in, nice block. McCoy's been awesome. I mean, this is my first time watching her. I know she caught last year, but obviously I wasn't in depth with the Raiders like I used to be. And getting to know her game behind the plate. I mean, my goodness, the way she's played today behind the plate and at the plate. I mean, she could have some good company with where she might end up in Raider lore. And I'd just seen her for one game. Pitch here's a strike. I mean, she is totally the part, both in the field and at the plate. Here's the pitch. Change up, tapped in front of the hill, fielded by Strain, and that'll do it. A 1-3 putout will end this game as Hastings wins by a score of 6-1. to one. For the HCTV fans, we will say goodbye to you. For you radio fans, we'll be back with your post-game show right after this. As Hastings, they're winners in the home opener. They beat Matamidi by a score of 6-1 to one in girls softball. On KDWA and HCTV, for you radio fans, stay tuned. We'll be right back. Yeah.